Scorpio, hello my loves and welcome back to the channel. Supreme gratitude for clicking on the video. Your support really means a lot to me. Alright, Scorpio. You can have Scorpio and your sun, moon, rising, Venus. Cross watchers are also welcome here. Please check the channel for your other placements and view those videos, okay? At this point, we're about at 7,400 7, uh, subscribers. We are shadow banned and locked here. But guess what? I'm still giving it to the people that's looking at it. So, this video is attached to a playlist. Check out the uh, playlist if you like it. Hit the subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell to all. Make sure you thumbs up the video if you are watching it. And if you like a personal reading, click the description box below. I'll show you. So you have the Seven of Pentacles, you have the Wheel of Fortune, you have the Two of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, Taurus Energy, Wheel of Fortune, um, it's like, uh, Sagittarius Energy, Two of Wands, Aries Energy. Chariot, Cancer's Energy. Seven of Cups. Your own energy showing up, Scorpio. <laughs> oh, Three of Swords, Libra's energy. Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck, Aquarius energy and judgment. With the devil and the hermit. Mm. What y'all doing here, Scorpio? Um, Scorpio. I feel like this is the person you're dealing with. I feel like this is the person you're dealing with emotions. Hold on. Okay. I do want my chair to be up. Just the way it's made. It'd be difficult for it to really be up like I want it to. There we go. All right, so I feel like this is the person that possibly that you're dealing with. Scorpio, there could be somebody around you that they admire you and they like you. So they invest into you, like invest whatever it is that you're doing. They invest in your business, you know, whatever idea you have, they, they pour into you. Whoever this individual is. Because they're hoping that one day the universe is going to move in their favor and you and this person are going to be together. This person could have Sagittarius in their chart. They could have Taurus in their chart. They're hoping that one day you're going to choose them. This isn't this isn't just anybody either. This person has been around for a very long time. Seven years or more. This person... I mean, hey, you know, you do what you got to do to get to where you need to be. So, if that's their game plan at coming at it, you know, you really can't be upset about the game plan. 
<laughs> you know, it's, it's something thought out like, ah, oh, you know, if I keep being that person for them, somebody to think like this, it would be a Sagittarius. That Sagittarius is their big thinkers. Even though that plan may not, <laughs> that plan may not make sense. <laughs> you know, they are the luckiest zodiac sign, you know, and, and they're always thinking of what they could do to benefit themselves and what they could do to be better versions of themselves, right? So even though every plan may not pan out the way they want it to pan out, this is this person's plan. Determined for you to go all in with them. Determined for you to grow and maximize what this is that you're doing here within this connection. Now, Scorpio. I feel like I'm going to call a spade a spade, right? Uh, you're not even... <laughs> you're not even looking at this person like that. You're not, you're not stopping to think about it twice. You're not doing that. You're not looking at this person in the aspect of one day we will be together, me and you forever. I'm just going to tell it how it is. So cross watches, I'm here. Scorpio don't see you like that. Do they value you? Yes, but they don't see you like that. Three of swords. There's going to always be somebody else in this situation. Now, if I'm wrong, Scorpio, and this is how you feel about somebody else, and they're going to always have a third party, great. But I, you know, I'm pretty goddamn good here. And, and with this energy here, Scorpio, you, you see them, you value them, but you're not really looking at them as an option. And so... It's important to know that because you aren't looking at them as an option, you, you, <laughs> you're, you're in between a rock and a hard place, right? Here's the rock and the hard place. You want to be honest with them and you kind of, you, you kind of honest with them to an extent. You, you ain't really closing the gap because you're like, man, if I be too honest, they're going to stop helping me. You know what I'm saying? Like whatever they doing, you know, you need it. So <laughs> Yeah, that's where you at, but you don't want to hurt this person. This person, no matter what it is, no matter how many times they catch you, you know, in your third party or with a different third party or however many times they get hurt and let down, it could be something like every time they turn around, you in a different connection with somebody else. And, and, like, this person's dreams are just, you know, fading. It's like, no, I'm just going to, I've been here this long. I'm going to keep on. I'm going to hold on. You know, I'm going to get there. You know what I'm saying? It's one of those situations. And this person still is not removing their energy from you. This person has a genuine heart. They have a genuine heart. But they're going about it the wrong way. Because nothing, you should, like, if a person wants to be with you, they want to be with you because of who you are. You know what I'm saying? Not, you know... You can invest as much as you want to financially with a person, but you're not going to go nowhere with it, you know? So with that, you know, somebody just realizing like, okay, this person just toxic. They'll be looking at you like that, Scorpio. Like, Scorpio just toxic. They addicted to what they're addicted to. They doing what they doing. Let's see. Let's clarify the seven of pentacles for the collective of Scorpio. Fool in reverse. Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Now. <laughs> here's the thing. This person knows that the potential of them getting what they want is not as great as they want it to be. They know. So this person feels as though they have a plan A and plan B. If plan A, ultimately they don't get you, they would have made plenty of money with you, you know? So in their mind, ah, it'll work out in my favor one way or another. I'll make enough money you know, to where it just, I won't feel as bad. This is, that's the Sagittarius thought process. This is how they're thinking. Ah, you know, this person could have Virgo in a prominent placement in their chart as well. So, so they've, they've mapped it out. Right. So, so, so the flip side to this is like, oh, okay, well, 
I've been in achieve my financial goals if, you know, this end up being what it ain't. Okay, let's clarify the Wheel of Fortune for the collective of Scorpio. Mind you, Wheel of Fortune is Sagittarius energy. Hangman is Pisces energy, okay? And you have the Three of Swords here again. Uh, Libra's energy, all right? So, someone is really in deep thought. Weighing the risk versus the reward. Warning and seeing this happening. Like, feeling like they're going to have success. Feeling like, ultimately, they will be the last one standing. Like, I, I kid you not, this is what this person feels. Ultimately, I will be the last one standing. Ultimately, we will be together. They have, listen, when you talk about faith of a mustard seed, Whoever you're dealing with got it. Okay? They got it. They like they they are determined to 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 get you. Alright, two of wands for the collective Scorpio. There's that devil again. Baby, I can't make this up. Two of Wands clarified by the Two of Pentacles in reverse clarified by the Two of Wands again. Give me one more. <laughs> With the Two of Cups, duality, okay? Duality in this thing, all right? Two, 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 two. All the tools is right there. Somebody holding on for their life. They, they got a choice to make, but they know somebody, I don't think they're going to juggle me like that. I, I don't think they're going to play with me like that, but, you know, ultimately they're going to choose me to be this relationship where we, we, we have to be soulmates. See, what, what we have to realize is that we are definitely not supposed to be with every soulmate. We are definitely not supposed to be with every soulmate. We are definitely not supposed to be with every soulmate, right? A karmic soulmate you think you're supposed to be with them forever no a karmic soulmate is brought into your life so that you can actually p clear some past life karma whether you did it to them or they did it to you right you learn your lesson and you move forward right um each type of soulmate that comes into our life is for a reason what do we need to learn is this helping you or is this hindering you and somebody is holding on <coughs> to the to that feeling you guys could be karmic friends you could be anything. Like, you got to figure it out. I, I know this is my person. Somebody, it's almost like you're dragging yourself emotionally. Whoever this person you're dealing with, it's like they're dragging themselves emotionally by being stuck in their head about, oh, I, I, I know what I see, but I just don't feel like that's what they're going to do to me. And I, I'm just going to keep on because one day we will be together. I, I, I know this is my person. Somebody is going back and forth with themselves in their head. Regardless of the fact that it's been years and it still hasn't been accomplished, they still hold it on. I know, I know. This a person can love you and not be in love with you. When, some, when I hear women say, oh, they love me though. Okay, and then what's next? I, I, I guess that's, that's quite a few people that love me. But if you didn't, you didn't reach the, you know, you didn't reach the milestone. You didn't do what you're supposed to do. What, what love got to do with it? You know, I mean, value yourself enough to not hold on to things that no longer serve you. Okay, let's clarify the chariot for the collective of Scorpio. Okay. Ace of Swords in reverse and the Eight of Wands in reverse. Oh my God. So, okay. You or your person. Someone is realizing that they don't have clarity on this situation. Someone is realizing that someone is not being truthful to them, that they are they they are they're just not being truthful. There could be some toxic type of conversation. It could be something about being truthful about where you live at, who you're dealing with. Excuse me. They could feel like you chose someone else over them, someone that you have children with. You could feel like you've lied about this situation for some time. 
You know, and the thing that, that, that drives me insane, because this is what I'm hearing as well, too. Whoever this person that you're holding on to, like, they know that they can't have you, but they have that, that, that piece of a micro spit of faith. They're putting all of this work into you, but when somebody good comes around to them that, you know what I'm saying, they try with, they try a couple of times, they be like, uh-uh, I ain't got that. They not putting as much work because ultimately if they get with somebody outside of you, if y'all are cool or whatever, they not there because they genuinely want to be there. They there because they can't have the situation how they want to have it. Have it. So, okay, so somebody's going to be caught in a lie. Well, somebody's going to realize that they don't have any clarity. There's communication coming in, but it's not positive communication. Someone is, like, demanding, like, look, what are we going to do? What are, what are we doing here? At this point, you know, it's been this amount of time, da, da, da. What are we doing? What are we doing? Okay, what are we doing? Let's clarify the seven of cups in reverse for the collective of uh, Scorpio. Seven or so what's in reverse. <laughs> Temperance. Aquarius, Sagittarius, energy. Okay. What are we doing? Nothing. Because the Scorpio still does not see this as an option. It's still Scorpio is still not choosing to do right by the person that is greatly invested. This person still does not choosing to walk away. Somebody's like, I'm gonna pray through the process. I heard that. Let's clarify the three of three of swords for the collective Scorpio. Mm-hmm. Moon in reverse. Star in reverse. Justice is in reverse. Ooh, child. Hurt and pain. Something that was hidden. Someone that was hidden. They still haven't healed. Someone just has not healed from what was done. It's just, something's just not going the way that they wanted to go. And they still won't pull away. Like someone is agreeing to settle for a third party situation. I don't know what you want me to tell you, but however that may go, that's 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 your business. That's none of my business, right? Uh we continue to repeat patterns until we've learned our lesson. So I'm not the one to pick at anybody because I was young at one point. I, I was I, when I was younger, I was going through older life lessons because of my destiny, what I what I was supposed to be doing, you know, right right now. So, you know, I'm not saying that you guys are young. I'm just saying, you know, I've been there, you know, before. So I can't be like, ah, oh, you don't see it. You know, you ain't going to leave it alone. No, you're going to keep going through this cycle. Your person is going to keep going through this cycle until they learn their lesson. When they learn the lesson, then they're not going to go through it no more. Just simple as that. Don't let nobody talk you. Oh, you crazy. You this, you that. Look, keep people out your business, man. <laughs> if you can't let go, listen. Scorpio is... Ooh, numero uno in the bedroom, okay? Listen, they snatching your souls in the bedroom. So I get it, child. I don't know who you is, but I feel you. They don't snatch your soul, and you don't know how to get it back. They holding it over your head. Okay. <laughs> I get it, man. You'll get there. It's things that you can do to break the soul tie if you want to, you know? There are truly things to do to break the soul tie. All jokes aside, if that's what you want to do. But let that be your choice to do it. Let that be your choice to do it, Bookie. Don't let nobody... Oh, I wouldn't do this and I wouldn't do that. Listen, we all have different journeys and destinies. I'm not about to make nobody feel mad about the decisions that they make in their life. Now, if you want some, some life coaching or spiritual coaching, um, you know, I, I offer those. Four weeks or eight weeks. You can visit the website, and, and, and I'll be more than happy to coach you. 
But I'm not judging here. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a judge free zone. Um, got it. You're being guided. You're currently being guided, so you could be guided to watch this. All right, yeah, hit me up. Some of you guys could be going through this because you're getting bad karma, okay? <clears throat> Again, this could be a past life soulmate, right? Because there's no doubt in my mind it is a soulmate. But this could be a past life soulmate that you did wrong. You know what I'm saying? Or your person, your person, this person that really wants this connection with you that can't have it. In a past life, they did you wrong and they have to pay back karma. It's like when your life ends or, you know, whatever, whatever happens, sometimes we don't get to pay back our karma, right? Because something has ended and then our life is over and we don't get, so you get it in the next lifetime. You got people that believe that karma, you're going to get karma to the next lifetime. Believe it or not, there are certain people that only serve their karma, that, that serve their karma in the next lifetime. Each lifetime is different, right? So, um, they're miserable, right? <laughs> they're miserable, but like, uh, fuck it. You know, I just let my next life deal with it. I, I feel like that's asinine, but, um, I prefer to come in, you know, and I came into this lifetime with no karmic, no karma, right? I had a karmic less karmic lessons, but no karmic debt. And I'm thankful for that, right? Because I, I realized that I knew what I was supposed to do. My mission is to make sure that I leave here with no karmic debt. Because I really don't plan on coming back. I'm at master number 11, baby. I'm, I I don't plan on coming back. They get us up there and trick us and got us feeling like we need to come back and fix some shit. And then we come back and we forget everything that we got to gotta learn when we going through the damn burp canal. And we got to start this shit all over again. I don't want to do this no more. All right? I don't want to do it no more. Just let me let me be great. <laughs> Move in silence. Okay, cross watcher, Scorpio, whoever you are, move in silence again. As I was saying, everybody's gonna have some. Oh, I wouldn't do this, I wouldn't do that, but you don't know what they're dealing with in their life, right? Stop letting people tell you what to do in your life because what you're doing in your life ain't none of their damn business, right? Again, until you, this karmic cycle is up, you're gonna you can stuck with it. You don't need people in your life telling you what you should have did, could have did, would have did because that they, their destiny is not your, your own. Getting evidence, proof, screenshots. Somebody could be, Scorpio, somebody could be, somebody could know your person, <clears throat> the one that, that invests that you know that you're not going to be with. Somebody that you're dealing with could know them and they're trying to send information over to them. Pay attention to that. Pay attention to the signs and symbolisms of the universe. Child neglect, bad parents, scared of, hate parents. Ugh, that's bad. Moving, okay? Someone also could be in the process of moving, curious about you, Okay? Somebody's thinking about you, Scorpio. That's a lot. That was a lot, Scorpio. I don't know what y'all be around here doing. All right, man. Supreme gratitude for watching the video. Like the video. And uh, check out the website. See if there's anything that can assist you. Oh, sure.